rescued by grace. And oh, my heart is yours. Oh, spirit, move. Breathe you in and live to Person of the Holy Spirit has a way. Bible calls it the prudence of a man to know the way of God. It takes spiritual prudence to know how God functions, how He works, why He does what He does, and where He does it from, or through whom He does, and for whatever purposes they are. Many of the people in the world are struggling with many things because they do not know the way of the Spirit. And because even us as the church, unfortunately as men of God, we've not taken the time to equip people. We have become, you know, um, the answer. Instead of giving new answers, we become the answers. So if you're stuck until you make an appointment with the prophet, and pay 1,000 rand. You will not know what is happening in your family. And so you, you see a bunch of people making a line, waiting to hear from a man who has the spirit, the very spirit that they have in them. Now I'm not saying that it's wrong to consult the prophetic. I prophesy, I'm a prophet. But, the New Testament has not designed the prophet as a leader of the church. The New Testament has designed the prophet to be a confirmation of the leading of the Spirit. He did not say that for as many as are led by the prophets of God, so are they the children of God. He said for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God of God. The Greek word there is heals. Heals, the is a spiritual baby. Heals is a spiritually mature person. Now the Bible says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the mature children of God. That means that every man's aspiration should be to mature to a place where you can be led by the Holy Spirit. When you are led by the Holy Spirit, anything that comes to prophesy on your life is simply confirming what the Holy Spirit has revealed already in your life. So when the Bible says that you have the Holy Spirit, you have an unction from on high. You know all things. It means you're not supposed to be offside over anything that happens in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. You're not supposed to be ignorant about the voice that is speaking behind your ear. You're not supposed to be ignorant about the accident that is set a few kilometers away from you. You must know. The Bible says, A prudent man foreseeth evil from afar and hideth himself. But the simple, the Bible says, they pass on and they're punished. I don't know how I can explain to somebody that the problem you're dealing with is not a generational curse. The problem you're dealing with is you have not matured enough to hear God. And because we are not patient with the pattern that He has got, today even familiar spirits speak in the church and people call it prophet because they cannot separate accurate from true. The guy meets you, tells your mother's name, your father's name, where you were born, what you ate last week, but he's not even born again. Because it's given to the priests of this world, clairvoyance, clear vision. Those are things men can plug into, third eye, kundalini. They can open this thing and they can know everything that concerns you. And even read your family history from 1836. So you ask the person, from the time they were speaking in your life, what has changed? What has changed? Has your life changed? Has your mind changed? What has changed? Again, I am not watering down the ministry of the prophet. I'm just trying to consecrate it. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
shout glory to God. Because if we raise a generation that does not know the way of the Spirit, how do you run a ministry? How do you run a marriage? How do you raise children? How do you do business? Do you know that the most erroneous people in the world usually use the word and then the Lord told them? Have you been around people who always quote God? Then you say, but the voice of God is expensive. When he spoke to Abraham, something changed. When he spoke to Isaac, something changed. When he encountered Jacob, something changed. When he spoke to Paul, something changed. When he spoke to Isaiah, something changed. But nothing is changing with you, even though you say you carry the voice of God. Because we don't know the way of the Spirit. Moses knew the ways of God. He knew the ways of God. Doesn't that amaze you? When there are things God wouldn't do, he says, no, no, I cannot do this without him. He knows my way. If God was coming through a window, Moses would know God was coming through a window. While men were looking at the door, he would come through a window because he knew the way of the Spirit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand. If there's a prayer, you're going to pray this. Evening. God, I want to know your way. I want to mature enough to be attuned to the patterns and purposes, not assuming that I know best on what I have studied or have been told or have learned on the internet. No, I want that thing that comes out of my spirit that you cannot find on a CD, you cannot find on a flash disk, you can't find on the internet, you can't find in an encyclopedia. It is something built from a relationship that I have had with God, walking with Him every other day and Him commanding my destiny, aligning my days and defining my course. Defining my course.